Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Tower of Guns. I'm Nye. And I'm still Nako, and uh, what weapon are you going to use this time? I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know what gun I want to use. I, I kind of want to do, like, Kegerator or Hedgehog, but I think we should have a good run with the Peace and Carrots pistol. And I think I'm just going to go for a luck run. <laughs> or we could go for a Taco Terror run. Actually, I'm going to do that. Because I'm kind of curious what the Peas and Carrots pistol does at level 6. I am really, really hoping that it shoots Peas and Carrots. <laughs> but we're going to see. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the... I, I know this story. We actually get this particular story a lot, I find. I don't know why. The GPS story. <laughs> it's an amusing one, I'll tell you that. Okay, our gun's already level 2. That's a good start. But the Peas and Carrots pistol levels up extraordinarily quickly, though. So it's not exactly a huge deal. God, I hate... Ah, really? There's no enemies in here, so I can't get anything out of it. Okay, there's a, there's a jump height upgrade up there that I can't reach because I can't jump high enough. Irony! Yeah, it actually is. That is what irony actually is. Fine. Yeah, I'm okay with this room. I like this room. Oh, I'm liking this room a little bit less now. Can I grab any of these? Can I make them come to me? That's level four right there. Can I get the rest? I don't need to. I, I don't need the uh, secret to count, but I want the experience. Oh, and I got the secret. Okay. Looks like that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to get. Peas and carrots pistols actually surprisingly powerful, especially at level five, which is why I'm really excited to see what level six has to offer. And an extra jump. Yep, now I actually have one. Health's a little bit lower than I would like, though. Well, that can be remedied easily enough. Hello, bomb box. Come to me, my pretties. Okay. Unfortunately, didn't... Oh, oh, hey, there's more. Neat. So this should get me to level 5. Oh, got caught on some geometry, apparently. There's still more. Huh. Uh, whoa, hello. No. I know you want to give me hugs, but I reserve that right only to hug bots. Don't do that. Is this a thing? This is a thing. Hello. Your Ooh, second bonus jump for the day. And hey, that's that's really nice, actually. And we're at level five with our uh, with our gun, so we're almost there. Getting a lot of money too. I mean, we're. We're off to a pretty good start. Oh, and that was an experience bonus, so we're going to see what level 6 does, like, immediately. Oh, that's a pretty big bullet. It's not peas and carrots, but it's a really big bullet. Neat. Okay, I really want the EXP launcher. Game, can you give me the EXP launcher, please? <laughs> and now it's time for the boss. Yep, Dr. Turd again. This room is one of the weird rooms. This room is only Dr. Turret. I don't know why the game makes that distinction. And Dr. Turret's dead. Oh, don't give me this thing. Why would you give me the death tutu? Game, that's not acceptable. Still, we did that in almost par. I only missed one secret. That was probably the jump you couldn't get. Yeah, that actually, that is the one secret. 
So I have the Death Tutu, which says that for a short period of time, touching me is damage to them, but then again, touching them is damage to me, so that's cool. That's like, you know. I don't know who wins there. I think they do, to be honest with you. Okay, now I kind of want to get rapid on this game. Can we make that happen? <laughs> or Uber. You know, Uber would be fine, too. I don't want mines. I don't want fire mines. Those would not be good. Ow. Money. Okay, something just spawned up there when I came down here. And it is two 8-bit guns. Okay. Not a bad start. <sighs> okay, we're not going to do the flamethrower thing. We're not doing that. Hmm. Okay, unfortunately... Okay, what just spawned? Pizza throwers. So we've been, we were in this room last time. This is the really big room that I had the jumps, and I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get anything. Um, this time I don't have the jump, so obviously this is one of the really good stuff's gonna spawn. <laughs> of course. Of course. So hopefully someone in here is gonna spawn or drop like a Toga Triple Wing. That's only not gonna happen because life doesn't happen like that, but that, you know. That is what I hope for. Okay, nothing up there. That said, with the sheer amount of enemies, you know, um, the drops, like, uh, badge drops, just, it's a percent chance that any enemy is going to drop it. So, with so many enemies, there's a decent chance I'll get one or two more jumps or jump height ups. Doesn't appear to be happening, unfortunately, but, you know, there's a chance it could happen. Oh, well, I see a speed up. So we did get at least one thing. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's not the thing I was looking for, but it is a thing. Hmm. Take what you can get. Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to. So unfortunately, those are the last two guys in the room. And neither of them spawned me either Toga Trooper Wing or like 17 jump ups. Oh, damn. Can I make that? Please. Please give me something I can get resets on. Do not make me leave this behind, please. Please don't do that. Please be nice. Give me something. Anything. Oh, this is evil. I am really upset about that. Because that could have been a lot of things. And of course, there is that up there that I can't reach. Not by a country mile. Which is apparently different from a city mile. I don't know. I don't get how that works. Uh, afraid I'm a city kid. I wouldn't have a good answer for that. But, hey, you know what? Hang on. This is what Google's Google is for. Really? I mean, this is, this is, yes, this is what Google's for, but this is a really, like, stupid reason to use it. Because Nye said something stupid during a Let's Play, and it prompted thought. Like, Google was invented for how do I cure AIDS, not what's the difference between a country mile and a city mile. Well, that's the internet. The internet is full of totally useless information. That's true. Okay, it's 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 a turn of phrase, basically. It's sort of, you know, city, country miles, suppose they say it goes faster because, you know, there's there's nothing there. That seems like it make it go slower. There's something to look at. I've well, yeah, it's, a straight, it's a straight line, so to say. It, it, it's a sort of, it's sort of, it, the idea is, you know, it goes, it goes, it feels like it goes faster because there's not. Because what they're saying is it feels like it goes faster because you fall asleep at the wheel because it's so boring. 
That, Sorry, let me let me rephrase that. It's the city mile. Sorry, I was mis I was I was misphrasing that. Basically, because you know you're on the highway and you just it feels like it's going fast because you're just going down the highway. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that answer. There's nothing romantic and or interesting about that answer. The internet ruining your ruining your misconceptions since 19 something or other. Yeah, pretty much. That's about right. Kill the Apex gun. Any of you, anytime soon, could just drop me some things. And or stuff. Your choice. Oh, come on. Give me some loot confetti. Be a loot pinata. Come on. All the cool kids are doing it. Damn, no one wants to give me loot. You saw what happened to their friends. Well, yeah, that's why they should want to give me loot, so it doesn't happen to them. Whoa! Oh, ah! Ah! Okay, hold on. We're gonna go over here. I'm gonna hide over here. Because that is frightening. Okay, let's pop right under here for a second to see if there's anything... Uh-oh. There we go. Let's see that. You know what that, that description of a country mile does not comment on? Mm hmm. I, I can understand that it might be fat, feel fashion city mile, but then explain how you missed it by a country mile. You know? That description doesn't address that. I got I, I I got nothing. I'll see. That's the Google. important questions of our time. Google, you have failed me. Why, Google? Why? Because you didn't pay your operating costs. I don't know. Didn't you know Google charges for the good answers now? Oh God! Don't get me started on not paying operating costs. Whoa! Apparently, I just decided to fall through a floor. Okay. So that happens. There's, remind me, there's a shop right there that I need to go visit. There's a shop right there you need to go visit. Oh, that's so helpful. <laughs> well, you asked. I did. The problem is who I asked, I guess. <laughs> hey, I never promised Gosh. I would provide useful commentary. <laughs> you never promised you'd provide commentary at all, so I guess I'm at least doing well. <laughs> Okay, let's keep moving. Remember, that's an Unreal game, so jumping makes me go faster. I love how just weird that thought is. Well, the game's made in Unreal, therefore jumping makes me go faster. <laughs> just, just. Oh god, are you bunny hopping now? Yes! I've been bunny hopping! I bunny hop all the damn time! You haven't okay. noticed that there's a reason I'm in the air most of the time? I thought that was... <laughs> well... I had wondered, but at the same time, sort of your semi-airborne as it is with uh, with your with your with your love of jumps. So, did you wonder if there might be a reason for my love of jumps? So things just started happening. I don't know if you saw the item I just picked up. The loot lubricator. Ah, yes. yes. And a damage plus, even better. Yep. Well, this gun's already good, but. This gun actually, for being the gun the game says find a better gun, this gun's actually really good. <laughs> okay, now let's fall down. Eh, it's only worth 46, so it's not gonna be something amazing, but... I'll pay 46 for this, sure. <laughs> I was gonna say, for another extra jump, I think you'll be more than happy to do that. Yep. Well, the loot lubricator should hopefully get me more jumps, too. Yep, but I do bunny hop in this game. 
Actually, I was doing it last game too. You just couldn't see it very well. But uh, mm -hmm. last game I was doing it because I was able to hit, just keep on hitting the jump button. I was never running out of jumps. So whenever I was rising, it was usually because I was hitting the button over and over and over, as opposed to doing it slowly like you're supposed to. Hmm. Okay, I can't make it up there, so we're just gonna go to the boss. Let's see. Who are you up against this time? Napoleon. Napoleon. Why did I activate the loot locator just now? That was not a very smart decision of mine. Why did they call him Grandpa Napoleon? I'm assuming it's because of the way he looks. Is he's got a height complex? I don't know. Possibly. Actually, from what I, I understand, that was the... a myth. That was a myth to begin with. So. So, for, so as I understand as well. But uh, I think it has to do with the compensation with a really big gun in the middle. Okay, warehouse. Eh, I mean, you know. I mean, warehouse tends to have a lot of enemies, so the loot lubricator will actually be useful here. Case in point. <laughs> up to level six. I love them. I, I love how they're just talking about, you know, using the high beams in the, in the middle of a tower that's trying to murder you. Well, accor supposedly according to the way the <coughs> story <coughs> goes, uh, they don't know they're in the tower yet. Or at all. Like They, they never figure it out. You know, I think one of the things that the pocket thruster does, I think it might lower the effectiveness of your jumps. Quantity over quality, huh? I don't know, just an idea I get. I'm also getting the idea that this roof isn't solid. Uh-huh. Okay, where's the secret then? Hmm. It's right there. But unfortunately, I don't have the level of jumps to actually make it to that secret. I'm gonna have to remember that, though, for the future. The problem is this level is so goddamn dark in the first place. Guess what we're gonna do? You guys are coming down here with me. Come on, come join me. Come on, you know you want to. Unfortunately, my loot lubricator isn't active right now. And, uh, I'm not going to be able to get it active in time for it to be useful during this. It's a shame. This is kind of the ideal time when you're fighting a bunch of twerps. This is kind of one of the anti, uh, the dedicated anti-twerp guns, too. Hello. How come you guys didn't shoot me the entire time I was looking away from you, just not paying any attention to your presence? Makes no sense. Not that I'm complaining all that much, but still. Ah! That's what I want to see. That right there. Okay, I need loot lubricator for this. Okay, it's not going to happen because they all just killed themselves. Oh, well. Let's go downstairs and see what they dropped for me. Well, it dropped me a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, item experience, which is nice. Is there any more? Just you? Okay. Oh, there's also that guy up there, who somehow didn't explode. Grab as much of his crap as possible. I don't know where the secrets are in this room. Now we'll go this way. Ah, it's this room again. So if you didn't tire of my uh, missile riding shenanigans last time, I get to do it again.
Probably should have done lubrication during this room, but I can leave it for next room. I am kind of curious if I'm actually going to be able to get the height I need to go elsewhere in this level. Before you, well, because before you leave this level, I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> that will help. Okay, so I guess we'll just drop down and let the game reset me. Ow. Well, it really depends who is shooting at me. That's the question. I Oh, you. Okay. And you. Got it. Okay. Jump on you. Where's my next target? Jump on you. Jump on you. So these guys shoot at me. You can understand how I might be displeased about that. Is there a secret back here? Feels like there should be. Ah, I'm assuming you guys were shooting at me at some point. Okay, those guys are dead. Ow, who's... Oh, you two. Okay. I want to get into onto a missile like that one. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I was right. <laughs> it hurt. Kinda overextended yourself there a little bit. Well, it wasn't that. The missile I was trying to jump on exploded while I was trying to jump on it, I think. And, I, and while trying to fix the problem... You ran out of jumps. Yep. Well, that's not good. There we go. Oh, I got a little bit of health back. Okay, where's my target missile? That one. Onwards to victory! You ever seen Doctor Strangelove? I, I I'm told I should see it. I have not. I keep I I know of it. I know some of the tropes, but it's just sort of. I think it was well. I think it was kind of before my time. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh oh, that's okay. Come on, I've watched Doctor Strangelove. It's not before your time. Peter Sellers is not before anyone's time. Peter Sellers is amazing, and and he deserves love for everybody. But, um, there is a scene in Doctor Strangelove where, uh, one of the characters rides a missile just like I just did. Yeah, I, 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 I am familiar with you that, know that one. one. Okay. I mean, everybody, I'm sure even people who don't think they are familiar with that one are familiar with that one. You can't, you can't be around without, like, not being familiar with the tropes, at least, so. Yeah. Just something. Then again, like, my taste in movies is pretty, uh, unusual to begin with, so. Okay, I mean, I know Paul Rubens had some issues in those types of movies, but can we just not bring them up? Huh? Pee Wee Herman. He lost me again. No. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that, then. We're going to logistics. Last no, as I said, like I, I've seen some pretty obscure movies in and of themselves. It's just that I, my taste tends to be a bit, bit odd. So, I mean, I, 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 I mean, like I, I haven't seen Doctor Strange Love, and yet I've watched Buckaroo Band's Eye. I don't know if I'd call Doctor Strange Love, you know, odd necessarily. It was a Peter Sellers movie. It was pretty. It was a pretty uh, famous for a very long time. I know, like, of it. Again, it's just I've never actually watched it and myself. I'm kind of confused why you're describing it as an odd or uncommon. Yeah, no, no, no. I said I've watched odd. Uh, I, I, my taste tends to be a little unusual, which means I, it just never crossed my my. Uh... Well, it sounds like you're calling the movie like an unusual movie to watch. Like, no, no, no. Well, I'm saying I mean... that I tend to prefer. I'm saying that I tend to like gravitate towards the more unusual movies, and it being relatively well known may not have crossed my radar. At least not at the time. 
Okay. Also, renting movies is a pain for pain around here right now, at least. Like Netflix is not a thing up here, and Blockbuster is not a thing anymore. Yeah. So yeah. Put this in perspective for any of the other sort of U.S. watchers that may be watching. I'm in Canada. Netflix is a th is a thing. Like it is, it physically exists, but we're like metered internet is still a thing up here. It's still a thing down here. Yeah, but from what I understand, you guys have an infinitely better meter internet than we do. I don't know. Have you heard of Comcast? Only in the my favorite whispers of Mad Men. Yeah, yeah, that's it's it's a reality down here. But yeah, it, it's just it's made it impractical to get to to, to 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 use Netflix and something like say iTunes again available still requires bandwidth, not necessarily cheap. Go ahead and grab that stuff. I believe this is the one that also has the thing over here. The thing with the stuff? The thing. Okay, let's go ahead and whoop. Zoom! I love that I don't have to hit the ground at any point during that. But yep, that's pretty fun. I want the motivator again now. Now I really want the motivator. Holy damn. Because <laughs> you know those little motivation jellies that are on the walls? The one that... Mm -hmm. fly? Yeah. You can, you can deploy one with that one. Yep. Were you here when I got it? Yes. Well, I, I was here when you got it for at least one thing. Or yeah. why... I have watched it when you've gotten it. I should put it that way. I'm not sure if I, you've ever gotten it in one of the uh, ones I've actually been commentating for. Well... It must have been, because that was the one time I got it. Okay, can you guys just... Can, can, can you die? Thank you. That's one. That's two. Okay, so the most annoying guys... Nope, never mind, you're still alive. <laughs> okay, now the most annoying guys have died. Damage off these flame throwers. We should probably take care of them next. The missile launchers, eh? Or the uh, the mine layers? Don't really much care. Don't really bother me that much. They do some damage, but eh. They're not the things I worry about. Okay, we're gonna get ready to fly soon. Grab this. Grab this. And suddenly I want to cue the Peter Pan theme the game. Well, you should. That's, that's an awesome theme. Stop shooting at me, both of you. I win. Okay. And... Flight! You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Yep. And unfortunately, it's just money up here again. I think it's only been once I've ever gotten to that spot, and it's not been money. Hmm. It was, it was something I didn't need at the time. I think, like, a jump up or something. Troll game is a troll. Okay. And yeah, we can leave. What room are we in? This one. Uh, I don't have the items I need to make this a worthwhile room. Does that just mean you're going to kill what you can and run for it? Uh, I mean, I might go for a little bit more than that. But, I mean, th the problem is the, the stuff I need to make this room actually, like, good... Uh, the, you know, I need to have a lot more... Hello. Give me that. I need to have a lot more jumps than I have now to be able to get to the actual, like, good secrets in this room. 
Hmm. Uh, there's, I mean, there's one secret. It's way the hell up there. So, um, you need to have pretty good double jumps to actually be able to reach it, and I don't have that. So instead, we're going to kill as much as we can. Hopefully, uh, that luck up is going to be pretty darn huge. And then we're going to see about how many of these things we can kill in order to maybe get a couple more drops. The problem is I dislike this room because of all the bounce fields, because of all the motivational jellies. It's kind of irritating. I swear, the music here reminds me of the movie The Flight of the Navigator. I don't know why. It's just, it's there. Okay. Oh, someone's shooting spike balls okay. at me. Someone's still shooting very large spike balls at you. Let's find out who it is. It's probably these guys. The game keeps on wanting to give, wanting to give me uh, difficulty up. I don't know why it's trying so hard to get me to actually <laughs> pick one of those up. It wants you to suffer. It really does. Let's see if I can get the loot lubricator active in time for uh, time for the next boss. Kinda doubt it, but at the same time, it's worth trying. Ow. On the other hand, let's see if I can keep myself alive in time for the next boss. I kinda, I kinda doubt it, but at the same time. Well, we can hope. It's kind of a other good question is what boss is it gonna be? Hmm. I was gonna say, given, given how perverse the game likes to be at times, I half expect you to get there and it to be the chomps. Uh, I don't think they can spawn on this level. Uh, it's... God damn it. Gumball machine, or... Egg beater. Egg beater. Egg scrambler, sorry. Egg scrambler. As I said. Depends on how difficult the game wants to be. The answer is very. If you get too close, it starts uh, doing explosions too. Uh, I'm almost dead, unfortunately. You may not survive this. I might not. I mean, those things do cause the. Uh... Nope. I you hate have died. the scrambler. I am a loser. <sighs> Damn. Nice try, but no cigar. Well, folks, I think that's it for us. We'll see you later.